Hey, what's up everyone? Raging Golden Eagle here, having way too much fun as always. And I figured that given what I talked about last week with the Roll20 situation, this is as good a time as any to finally bust out the inconvenient truth. Honesty is not always the best policy. Now hear me out before you start freaking out. If you live the kind of life where you spend more of your time keeping all of your lies in order so the house of cards doesn't collapse than you do just enjoying and living your life, yeah, you have a problem. This doesn't apply to the people who are basically living a lie. No, no, not at all. The specific situations I'm going to be looking at are those where you know exactly what other people expect you to say, and you really don't want to make a martyr of yourself, so you just give it to them. And funny enough, this is actually a lesson that's been ingrained in most of us since childhood. Yeah, sure, what people say is, oh, lying's bad, you should never lie. Honesty is the best policy, of course. We hear this a lot growing up. Maybe some of your parents pulled this crap with you too, like mine did. Have any of you ever been told before, uh, oh, it's, it's not so much that you did this bad thing, I'm mad because you lied about it. So the next time you do some bad thing and you don't lie about it, you get the exact same punishment? Yeah, you know they were full of crap. But anyway, this ties into a lesson that I harp on every chance I get. Words are meaningless. Don't pay attention to what people say, pay attention to what they do. Because as they go about telling you stuff like honesty is the best policy, they teach you a completely different lesson when it comes to your actions. For instance, let's look at the forced apology. That's something pretty much all of us have had to go through if we were ever kids. You do something, you don't think you did anything wrong, yet you're being forced to apologize by your parents or the teachers or whatnot. And at first you resist. You're, I did nothing wrong, why the hell am I going to apologize? And then you realize the longer you go without apologizing, the more the punishments just stack up. So eventually you just give in and tell them exactly what they want to hear just to make them leave you the hell alone. Like I said earlier, unless you actually want to fight the fight, you're just going to do this. If all you want is to make them shut up and go away and leave you alone, just tell them what they want to hear and it'll make them leave. You don't have to believe that shit, you just have to tell them you do. And in the end, it's going to be them who suffer, not you. Just look at the election of President Trump. Everyone was so convinced that he had no chance of winning because he was losing in all the polls. And I'm not just talking about the national level, because Hillary did win the popular vote, but in all the swing states too. And even now, people are still coming to terms with the fact that nobody was admitting that they were going to vote for Trump because they just didn't feel like having that fight. And it's not the people who were hiding who they were going to vote for that are suffering, it's those who actually believed the lies. So take that lesson from childhood to heart. That's something I learned pretty quickly. The first few times I was being forced to apologize, I fought it. Who didn't? We all fought it at first because we know we did nothing wrong, what are we going to apologize for? But eventually you learn, all you have to do is say these empty meaningless words and people leave you alone. Most cases anyway. Because funny enough, once they get done training you to lie via the forced apologies, as if they don't understand that unless you actually mean the apology and it comes from the heart, then it's worthless. But either way, after they train you to lie, then they train you to act. Because what's next? Next they tell you, say it like you mean it. They are literally training you from the moment you can effectively speak to be as effective of a liar as you can be because they know that unless you horribly abuse it, that skill is going to serve you well in the future. And going back to the very beginning of this video, this would have served the guy in the Roll20 incident from last week's video pretty well. He could have avoided all of that drama had he just lied. His mistake was he told the truth. He told the woman, oh, we don't recruit women into our group. I guess he figured he'd be safe because he saw plenty of women-only groups being advertised, even though the official policy says you can't discriminate based on gender. But he probably thought he was going to be okay. Oh, if there's all these women-only groups, I could have my men-only group, right? Yeah, double standards say that's not going to happen. You know, maybe that's going to be the next video. But yeah, that was his mistake. He told the truth. And now he may be suffering for it, I don't know. All he had to do was make shit up. As I mentioned in that previous video too. He could have just said, oh I'm sorry but we were actually talking to another guy at the same time as you and we actually brought him on so uh, no room anymore, sorry. We'll keep you in mind if another opening comes up though. Something like that, that's all he had to do. I'm sure almost every single one of you listening has done something similar in your life. Just told someone what they wanted to hear, or I guess in this case it would be more accurate to say you don't tell them what they don't want to hear, just to avoid some pointless drama and move on with your life. Unless you're extremely naive, of course. 
Well, like the person I was talking about at work last week, funny enough. Oh, God. So two of my coworkers were talking about this person they knew who failed a background check. Because when the question, have you ever done drugs or gotten high, came up, this person answered yes because they thought, oh, I thought it also meant, were you high on life? And I was standing there visibly straining myself to avoid face palming. Because both of them were sympathetic to this naive individual. Oh, clearly that question was just very poorly worded. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. Any person with two brain cells to rub together knows what the question means and what they want you to answer. If anything, the background check kind of served a purpose in filtering out naive people like that. Because I believe the background check was for a job that would require you to keep some secrets, and naive people aren't very good at keeping secrets. So that's the key thing to take away from this, honestly. Read the situation, and just figure out what is it that this person wants to hear from me. It's just like those tests big companies make us take sometimes, the whole ethics training and the like. Where they present all these scenarios and ask you questions where you basically have to choose between doing what's right and doing what's according to company policy. And you know the answer they want to hear is you obviously do everything by company policy. You don't have to be a genius to figure out what people want you to say. And then just tell them that and make them leave you the hell alone. You don't have to believe any of that shit. All you have to do is tell them what they want to hear. And in case I haven't been perfectly clear about this throughout the entire rest of this video, this is not a matter of, oh, only people who do bad things and want to hide something have a reason to lie. Alright, imagine this then. Imagine you're living in a highly religious country, but it's not your religion. In fact, your specific religion is banned in that country. And the penalty is death. So you go about pretending to worship the other religion just so they don't kill you. And then in private you worship your own religion. So obviously you've done something bad and you have something to hide, right? Because why else would you be lying? Yeah, I hope I've made the point that that type of alleged logic does not always apply. Sometimes it literally is the rest of society that's wrong and is not willing to accept the truth. In that case, you have to be a lot more strategic about how you deliver it. You can't just say, all or nothing, I'm going to tell you the truth. No, you got to slowly open them up to it. Because otherwise, you're just asking for trouble. That's all i got to say, guys. Thanks for listening.